Hi winners, I'm back here to give a detailed description of what you need to learn or what you need to focus when you're taking general pathology. Okay, so coming to the NEAT blueprint. Okay, so if you see NEAT blueprint, general pathology has a weightage of 7 marks, okay, along with Microbiology, general pathology is going to carry 14 marks. So a weightage of 7 marks is given for general path. Okay. So apart from this, if you just have an analysis of the recent PGI and AIMS as well as the JIPMAD, it has a decent weightage. Okay. For in, in PGI, okay, for 100 marks, 100 MCQs, Pathology has a weightage of 2 to 4 marks. And in JIPMER also, it has a rough weightage of around 4 marks to 5 marks. As general pathology, in majority of the times, the question comes with the combination of oral pathology. In most of the times, it is very difficult for analysis of the pathology related specific questions okay so in aims it has a rough weightage of more than 10 marks okay so this is how you need to segregate your time basing upon the weightage of mcqs or basing upon the importance of a particular subject in your examination for example if a subject is carrying more weightage Okay, if a subject is carrying more weightage, you need to spend more time in cracking those marks. If subject is carrying less weightage, you have to give a bit less importance to the subject. This is how smartly you have to modify your preparation. Okay, previously when uh, we used to prepare, okay, we don't have this weightage segregation or analysis segregation. So we regularly used to keep like one week or 10 days for general path. Same goes one week or 10 days for pedo, one week or 10 days for cons and endo. Okay, but now as there is a drift in the preparation, uh, lots of analysis are going behind the screen by the mentors. Okay, mentors are doing lots of co-work to make the subject simple and smart. Okay, so with this analysis and everything, I can say uh, you need to be very specific in finishing general path as fast as possible and you need to move to the further subjects. And uh, before going into the schedule of general pathology, I just want to tell you, okay, tell you a very important thing. Like there are many, many topics, okay, many, many topics which are common for many subjects. For example, if I'm talking about blood or if I'm talking about disorders of the blood. Okay, so if you, if you come to the first year subject like physiology, okay, in physiology, we talk about blood. That is the normal physiology of the blood will be discussed in the physiology. The next comes in the second year, you talk about drugs which are used in the blood or drugs which are act, which acts on the blood, platelets or RBC or white WBC or any, any sort of drugs which comes in the blood, okay, will be discussed in the pharmacology. And the basic pathology point of view of blood related stuff will be discussed in the general path. And few aspects about the blood pictures in infections will be discussed in your microbiology. Goes to the third year. Okay, again you have blood. We talk about diseases of blood and everything in your general medicine. Move to the final year. Okay, in final year we talk about blood in your oral path and oral medicine. Okay, oral medicine and radiology we talk about blood. Of course, perio is related to the surgery. We talk about blood. So they are common things for most of your subjects and taking this into consideration i can clearly say there are many things which are common for general path oral path and general path and general medicine so regularly your general pathology has to be done in combination with oral pathology oral medicine and general medicine but due to some compromised schedules or due to some compromise in our mode of preparation we segregate every subject we don't read 
conceptual reading we never go for a conceptual reading we go for a subject wise reading so taking all these into consideration i have prepared few topics in your schedule which are only specific to general pathology whereas few other topics of general pathology which we are going to learn in combination with other subjects i have skipped all those things because reading the same thing again from general pathology point again from general medicine point again from any other subject point will kill your time and will make your preparation incomplete okay you 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 may not be perfect with the topic but you read the same topic many 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 times which is not a smart preparation according to me so to my point of view these are the topics which are limited only to the general path okay so 21st that is tomorrow we're going to have a zoom class for the people who has starting their proceedings okay it's not for all it is for the people who are starting the proceedings we'll have an interaction with them and the old batch students okay you're going to have a paper discussion you're going to have your general surgery paper discussion this is for the old batch students and the new batch students which are going to start the preparation from tomorrow they're going to have an interaction with a specific mentor about their doubts clarity about the preparation goals x y z so from 22nd officially we are going to start general pathology okay so for general pathology as all these subjects are all these topics are very specific to general pathology every topic has a rating of 5 you need to be utmost clear with each and every topic in this in this list okay so what book to be followed i i prefer that there are many other uh, high end books but to our level as as a dental student point of view your harsha mohan is more than sufficient textbook of pathology by harsha mohan sir is more than sufficient to get the perfect concepts okay you have your dental version yes well and good if you don't have your dental version if you have the general version or any 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 of the versions you can pick and you can start your preparation that is more than sufficient but make a note harsha mohan textbook of general pathology is just a reference book whenever you are not clear with the concepts whenever you want to be perfect with the concepts whenever you have time open the book and read but in the regular scenario you should be focused more on the preparation because we have a limited time but we need to complete the syllabus so the target of us for this particular schedule is the grand exam which is which will be on general pathology in specific will be on 31st month ending so you have how many days to crack this subject 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 days preparation with 2 days revision so you have 9 days to crack this general pathology clear so how you need to handle okay so in our uc life okay if you remember like what we have what you have done or i have done when i'm doing the second bds when i'm handling this general path most of we are familiar with all these topics that is cell injury where we talk about necrosis apoptosis and all these things inflammatory mediators and uh, how the inflammation acute chronic what are the differences and everything hemodynamics how edema is formed all those flow charts and everything and of course we learn about the cancer preventing uh, genes cancer promoting genes pro onco genes all these everything the only topic which we are not clear with is the genetics genetics is of less important for a dental student in your general pathology point of view so genetics will mostly move around uh, the genes gene numbers gene names which causes cancer which are specific markers tumor markers all these genes uh, the mode of transmission the mode of occurrence different types of abnormalities of genes all your trisomies monosomies uh, all your all all such things uh, which are at microscope level like if you know that down syndrome is also called as trisomy of 21 but what microscopically happens 
what is trisomy 21 in specific what is microscopic view of all the things will be learned in genetics and genes in general pathology which is very specific to this subject okay genes we learn in many other subjects like uh, you can talk about genes in biochemistry but i made genetics very specific to that of your general pathology okay and most of the other topics what i have mentioned uh, are, are very common things but you need to learn the concept behind the thing okay which may or may not be bounced as a question for you but make sure you as a conquerors you as a students of mds conquer family should be very strong in each and every aspect okay what my target is like i i just want to prepare you okay i, I want to make your armamentarium in such a way that you should get questions you should get answers for all 240 questions in the examination nothing is unimportant according to me i want you to be perfect with the concepts so that you can handle the stress in the examination hall in the most easiest way so this is how the plan a uh, few diagram based aspects are important okay but don't go to the level of a medical student where they will ask the pathology specimens which are very very less concerned for a dental student so what we have some limitations and we need to take the limitations into consideration okay learn but learn up to the level okay don't go beyond that because as already discussed the weightage of these subject is not that great because you cannot differentiate an oral path question from general path question so try your best to cover as many things as possible so apart from this there is one more topic which is very specific and important to uh, uh, general pathology that is the blood diseases of blood in general pathology point okay it's almost the same as general medicine point or you have the same topic in your oral path oral medicine also okay so i'll be focusing more when i'm talking about uh, the medical aspect that is general medicine when i'm talking talking or taking discussions on general medicine i'll be covering all those blood and every uh, uh, i mean like uh, the system specific like uh, if i'm talking about git few pathology aspects of git so such things will be covered along with the general medicine oral path and oral medicine okay so please try to be more focused on these topics and try to be perfect because we have only seven days and of course it is covid 19 where we were locked down we have limitations so please try to be safe and secure at home by following the precautions but make sure give your best shot for this upcoming nine days to make your end of the may okay that is the last phase we are in the last phase of may to be best for your preparation so as always says always says this preparation of what you're doing should be your best and should be your last and make a note when you feel a subject is boring like for example if uh, if, if you talk to me uh, to me uh, uh, the most boring subject is uh, uh, anatomy i feel anatomy is boring to me i feel like biochemistry is boring to me i feel like general path is boring to me there are a few other subjects which are boring to me so what i do when i i, I come across a boring subject which has a weight is in the examination which which is going to decide your rank rank which is going to decide your fate your outcome your success your college your department and 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 this simple scores which are going to decide your life totally okay so what i do is when i want to inject something into my body i just love it i first love it i add some love towards it so people who feel like bored of gentle path first add love to it make your conscious love gentle path make your conscious love gentle pharmacology so if you feel like tricky subjects love them more and probably preferably this is this is going to be a last time in your life time you may read general path of course you read in the, your final mds or your first mds for your basic paper but that most importance you give to general path will be very very limited hardly you may read half a day uh, in your future for the examinations in the uh, once you enter into the mds half a day maximum so so this is going to be last bond between you and general path so give your best shot for general path love general path okay so signing off from team mds conquer stay safe at home enjoy general path